Welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Maurice Pascal along with Mitch English. Our next guest is one of the most sought out celebrity real estate agents in Los Angeles. And that's just one of the many reasons we have him back. So this week, let's see if we can actually finally get him to dish on some of his famous clientele. Welcome yes. back to the show. The director of Luxury Estates Division with the Aaron Kerman Group is our Charlie. How are you, everybody? Hey. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for having me on. All right. Yeah, I got a big, shiny uh, Klondike bar just for you. <laughs> if you can tell me any of dirt or anything, just some one. celebrity names that is on your real estate roster. Just it's waiting one. for. Just what one. would you do for a Klondike bar? Would you do that? Mm, well, a couple of things. First of all, I live in Los Angeles, so I, prob I could not possibly consume those carbohydrates. But... <laughs> Since I knew you, I'd figure you'd ask that question. I was thinking, what celebrity have I sold a house to that won't sue me that I can stay? Okay. Right? So I sold a house to actually, they're, they're two of my closest friends, Jay and Randall Park. So Randall is uh, was the dad on Fresh Off the Boat. He's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Marvel. Right, he's in the, the the Aquaman movies, and Jay and I go way back. And she was she's an actress and was on a Netflix series called My Friends from College and works all the time. And so I don't think they'll sue me. I know where they live. Yeah, we <laughs> finally got one out of it. Yeah, well, I feel like we accomplished progress. Them. Progress right. is progress. I'm gonna mail that Klondike bar to you. I don't think it'll make it uh, in the mail. All right, let's talk a little bit about the housing. Let's talk about the housing market right now. Yeah. Uh, man, I'm telling you, it seems like California is moving to Florida. Is that the case everywhere? Is now a good time to buy a house? So a lot is happening in the housing market right now. Obviously, California is in an accelerated market. So things are going not just a little over asking, but a lot over asking. And it's actually not unique to California. What we're seeing is a huge increase in markets. Like for example, in your market in Florida, uh, nothing is going for the asking price. Right. People are coming mm -hmm. in with no contingencies, lots of money down, and things are just going hundreds of thousands of dollars right. above what they're looking at. And according to what a lot of market analysts are saying right now, there's no sort of end of that in sight. They feel like it will level off a little bit. It won't be as crazy as it used to be. We were up 16% in one year in the real estate market. That's just huge. And so we're hoping that that slows down a little bit to a more manageable around 6 or 7%, which is still a huge return on your investment. But right now, I always tell my buyers, it's like the Hunger Games out there. <laughs> you do are battling away with a lot of other people and you just have to do your best to make it work. Right, so so then how do we win these Hunger Games? How does one, uh, during a competitive market, get that house? Well, first of all, you need to work with an amazing realtor, yowercharlie.com, feel free to take a look. <laughs> a little self plug um, there. <laughs> right, exactly. But no, it's true. You do need to work with someone who knows your market, has relationships with other agents and can really put an offer package together that sets you apart from other people. And what I try to tell my clients is don't think that you're overpaying for a house. Think that what you're doing is paying what this house is going to be worth in about 12 to 18 months. Okay. So as long as you hang on to that house for three, five, seven years, you'll do fine on your investment. So it's a lot of the sticker shock that we have to work through with people. And for all of those of you asking, like, when is the crash going to happen? My crystal ball is in the shop, so I can't really tell you that. But from what I can see, there really is no crash on the horizon for us. Okay. So it sounds like it's basically a seller's market where we're at now. We want to have you back. Please do. Uh, when you get the Klondike bar, I'm sure it'll entice you to get some more great stuff for us. <laughs> yeah, we always love having you on. You always give us the correct information and very concise stuff as well. Thank you so much for joining Thank us today. Thank you again. Thank you so much.